Welcome to Form Fully. This is part 3 of Wings 1 Process Exam Previous Year Question. Question 21. Which metric should be focused more for standardization of changes and deployment automation? Option A. Outage duration. Outage end time minus outage start time. Option B. Deployment duration. Planned end time minus planned start time. Option C. Change risk impact and categorization. Option D. Change cycle time. Change closure time minus change open time. And the correct option is D. Change cycle time. Question 22. The following data points can be considered for evaluating the risk of changes. Option A. Number of components undergoing changes. Option B. Existence of implementers. Option C. Existence of templates. Option D. Change implementation duration. And the correct option is A, B, C, D. Question 23. New catalog item has to be added to the existing list of services where TCS is managing the end-to-end -end IT services for the customer IT organizations. Who should authorize the creation of the service catalog? Option A. Service catalog owner. Option B. TCS as there is new type of skill for TCS. Option C. Both customer and TCS. Option D. Customer, if there is a financial impact of provisioning services. And the correct option is C, both customer and TCS. Question 24. Which of the following is not a type of change? Option A, emergency change. B, normal change. C, quick change. D, standard change. And the correct option is C, quick change. Question 25. Escalation matrix should contain the details of the following stakeholders. Option A, both TCS and customer stakeholders. B, TCS stakeholders only. C, no stakeholders details are required to be documented as you have all the stakeholders personally. D, customer stakeholders only. And the correct option is A, both TCS and customer stakeholders. Question 26, the developers create the sprint goal. What is the role of product owner in creating the sprint goal? Option A, the product owner first describe the business objective of the sprint to the developers. Based on this and the selected items for the sprint, the sprint goal is crafted. Option B. The product owner is not concerned with the sprint goal as it is an optional activity for the developers. C. The product owner is responsible for getting the stakeholders formal approval for the sprint goal. D. The product owner can change the sprint goal anytime during the sprint. He or she can create a new sprint goal and ask the developers to work on it. And the correct option is A. Question 27. What type of change is mostly to be managed by service request management practice? Option A. An emergency change. Option B. A normal change. Option C. An application change. Option D. A standard change. And the correct option is D. A standard change. Question 28. On Monday morning, you are part of a major outage. As part of troubleshooting, it has been observed that there were five changes which got deployed into production. You have identified two changes which, which could have potentially caused outage. What is the order of changes to be rolled back? Option A. Changes should be backed out based on probability of failure. Option B. As there are multiple changes, we cannot roll back any change. Option C. Change which was deployed last should be backed out first. Option D. Roll back both the changes. And the correct option is C. Change which was deployed last should be backed out first. Question 29. TCS location independent agile is about. Option A. How distributed agile team, each team itself being co-located should collaborate. Option B. How to distribute work among team members distributed across different time zones. Option C. Harnessing globally available talent. Option D. How an agile team can be distributed and it perform without compromising on agility. And the correct option is A, C and D. Question 30. You are leading a transition of a large operational support. During transition phase, when knowledge transition is in progress, should you ask for the incumbent vendors known error database? Option A, yes. You should request for KDB, receive and enhance it further as per TCA standard with additional known errors and keep it updated always. Option B, no. You should always create a fresh KDB from scratch. Option C, yes. To solve this issue during secondary support changes. Option D, no. It would be security violation to request for their KDB. And the correct option is A. Thanks for watching. If you find this content valuable, do like, share and subscribe.